Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification to keep up to date with all things Sacred 8. For comics, collectibles, art, manga, and more, visit sacred8studios.com. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Mini Monuments series that we have here at Sacred 8 Studios. This week we have Good Smile Company's 148th Painted Scale Swordfish 2 from Cowboy Bebop. Uh, personally, I was super stoked that we were able to get some of these from Entertainment Earth. Uh, there was only a few left that we could get in for stock. Um, I'm a person that grew up with, like many of you, watching these on Toonami uh, at nighttime during... Cartoon Network, and I loved this series. Uh, this Trigun, Big O, um, Full Metal Alchemist, Inuyasha, Samurai Champloo, everything. This was my stuff, and I'm a big fan of any kind of spaceships and or robots. Uh, the biggest thing that I kind of have an issue with with Gundams is the size to scale ratio. You know, a hundred bucks for something that compared to a hot toy isn't really that big. And I think that this is what I love about Good Smile Company is not only is it simple and what they include with it, but it's extremely well put together. It's painted. And for someone like myself who loves to draw and paint reference or just stick it on your shelf, it's right there. Now, if you're looking at building something, there are other model kits, but this one is already pre-made. It comes in one giant piece with two or three other attachments. The paint job on this is phenomenal. Uh, we love it so much. And on top of that, it has a, a lot of extremely movable parts from the wings to the rudders all the way down to the thruster in the back, which are omnidirectional. Uh, if you've ever dealt with the Master Grade or a Perfect Grade Gundam, this is exactly what you're going to feel. It is a complete plastic mold that has the interchangeable parts. The only thing that is really fragile about it that you want to be careful for are the landing gears on the bottom and the cockpit uh, top hatch. Uh, they're not fragile in the sense that they will break immediately. They actually are pretty sturdy, but you do have to have a way to lock and move it in, lock and pop it, as the kids would say, I guess, um, to make sure that you don't bend any of the pieces permanently. But other than that, it is built extremely well. Uh, the 148th scale for the size of the ship is... Not only uh, a good size, probably about close to about a foot in the uh, sp length and span. Um, the bang for the buck, you actually get something that is worthy of just being put on a shelf and just shining. Uh, slots, you go ahead and pop the capsule in. There is a little button on the back that goes ahead and applies pressure with the spring so it doesn't move around. And all in all, this has to be one of our top models that we've gotten in a long time not just in the paint but the detail and how it di displays in our gallery so if you are looking at grabbing one make sure to check them out at sacredstudios.com or entertainment earth if you want to see more things like this keep up to date with all things sacred eight at sacredstudios.com now let's check it out mm -hmm. 